with a musical fable for Christmas, Babushka. And Dean Stockwell are the stars of the swashbuckling Rudyard Kipling adventure set in India. Kim. BBC Two Christmas Matinee, the toast of New Orleans. Composed by Liszt is Christmas music for the home. The pianist is Rhonda Gillespie. This morning, uh, 23 minutes past one, and BBC Two is back in the afternoon at ten past two. Well, if you're off to bed now, or perhaps even staying up to make a night of it, then there's always Radio Two, of course, throughout the night. Now on BBC Two we begin Christmas Eve in seasonal style. Alastair Sim and Kathleen Harrison star in the famous film version of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. On BBC One, before Noel Edmonds' live, live Christmas breakfast show, the weather prospects from Michael... BBC One, another big deal for Robbie Box comes after half an hour of ever-decreasing... tonight. We hope we added to the pleasure of your Boxing Day. And now from all of us here on BBC Two, may I wish you a very good night. Good night to you. With the first sighting of BBC One's Christmas symbol, we continue this morning's programmes now with the list. 45 minutes for a team of television professionals pitting their knowledge against the victorious Payne family in a telly addict's Christmas special. But first, Jim's just got to even kicking among the EastEnders. Now, as we're just one hour and one minute into Boxing Day already, we come to a close. I trust you've had a pleasant Christmas Day, and we look forward, perhaps, to the pleasure of your company sometime tomorrow on BBC Two. Meanwhile, this is Peter Bolgar on behalf of all of us here, wishing you a very good night. night, John. Well, now that he's worn that on national television, that's one present John won't be able to take back. So far as the rest of us here on BBC Two are concerned, uh, we're ready to climb into our respective night gear. So from me, David Miles, on behalf of Fiona, Alan, Mark and Graham working in our control room, may I wish you a peaceful night and a very happy Boxing Day. Good night. This is BBC One, and now we go live to the Telecom Tower in London to spend Christmas morning with Noel. Very good morning to you, and may I be the first today to wish you a very happy Christmas from BBC and away. First. Good morning and a very happy Christmas. Back and enjoy this enchanting award winning film. Australia. So sit back and enjoy this enchanting award winning film. And before that, we embark on a 2,000-mile journey across the United States by means of transport that in 70 years has become part of the American way of life and which they call riding the dog. in the year in which the United Nations Convention for Children has been signed, 
we begin a new series of short dramas highlighting the plight of children around the world. The first story focuses on Randy from the Philippines. How are the... Now BBC One takes off in the company of brothers Trotter and Trotter. The holiday of a lifetime beckons Del Boy and Rodney in a special feature length, only fools and horses. Fasten your seatbelts, we're about to hit the transatlantic high life. Well, on BBC One Now, the first of our bumper crop of Christmas Eve films offers the ultimate transport of delight. Dick Van Dyke and Sally Ann Howes star in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Let's find out what's in store for us weather-wise on Christmas Day with Bill Giles. A very Merry Christmas to you and a very good morning from BBC Two. Now on BBC One, a great adventure is about to begin for Jim Ferguson, an unsuspecting New York businessman whose wildest dreams could never have predicted just what was in store for the next 90 minutes or so. First on to comic animation from Tex Avery. Now on to a comedy of errors courtesy of Jacques Tati as a village postman delivering trouble. For the weather story, we turn now on BBC One to a rather snowy fish. Well, now, it's already a white Christmas in some parts of the country. What about the rest of us? With the details, here's Peter Cockcroft. Well now, since it's very late on Christmas Eve, or should I say Christmas Day, and because we've come to the end of our schedule on BBC Two, there's just a couple of things to do before we bid you good night.